Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the version 25H2, another preview build that has a lot of new features and improvements. Of course, in this video, we're going to talk about everything and I'm going to keep you up to date also with some hidden features that are not officially announced by Microsoft. So in this video, we are talking about the build 26200.5722, as I've said, version 25H2. These features, of course, may or may not appear in the final version, but at least we're getting some previews. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. This video is sponsored by Remotely. Remotely is a free remote PC access software that can help you connect easily to your computer using any Android device or another computer from any place on earth. With this software, you can remotely access and control any files and applications on your PC in lag-free 4K HDR quality. You can use it for business or as a private user to watch movies or play games with your friends, help your relatives with their PCs, use your Android device as a gaming console when you commute, and so on. Connecting is as easy as pressing a button, and previous devices will be saved in your software so that you can easily connect to them again later. It also has a recording feature, voice access support, along with gamepad and custom keyboard mapping presets. Remotely uses very little CPU with a ultra-strong connection ID and an advanced authentication system. Connect to your computer for free using remotely today from the description below. Let's continue with the video. First of all, I'm gonna have to mention a feature that was a hidden feature since the last build and that was discovered by Phantom of Earth on Twitter or X.com and the feature is a new shared audio quick setting that allows you to play audio through multiple output devices. As I've said, shout out to Phantom of Earth for discovering this hidden feature, which I think is a pretty interesting one if you ask me. Talking about new AI features, Microsoft is of course announcing the new AI agent inside settings. So for Copilot Plus PCs, you may notice that whenever you're trying to search for a setting, AI will try to suggest certain settings depending on your description in the settings app. And also related to click to do, Microsoft is beginning to roll out a new tutorial for click to do when you launch it for the first time. Microsoft is also announcing a new refreshed second chance out of the box experience. Basically that random screen that appears whenever you're starting up your computer, maybe once in a while, in a month or so. So this has a new design for reviewing recommended settings on your PC. This redesigned screen is meant to be more intuitive and streamlined, allowing you to choose the recommended settings you want for your PC without having to navigate through multiple setup screens. Related to the taskbar and system tray, Microsoft is making a change to how quickly Windows can apply enterprise pins to the taskbar when initiated by the IT admins. They want to reduce the gap between an IT admin applying for the pinning policy and when their users see a pin on their taskbar. So basically, the policy only applies when Explorer restarts. With this change, the gap is only up to 8 hours, the policy refresh interval, and sidesteps the explore restart requirement. Related to the search on the taskbar, whenever you're searching for photos, Microsoft is introducing a new grid view to help you quickly and accurately identify the desired image within your search, so that is slowly rolling out and you may not see it right away. Also inside personalization and lock screen, Microsoft has done a few changes to this page, but most of the changes are related to the European economic area, and of course you have to have your windows activated in order to see these changes. Related to the notification center, Microsoft is extending this functionality to secondary monitors. This means you'll be able to see your calendar on any of your monitors, as well as the option to show a bigger clock with seconds above calendar. You'll be able to open notification center on any monitor by clicking the date and time in the system tray of your taskbar. I think this is a great little change. Related to the task manager, Microsoft is beginning to rule out the change where the task manager is changing the way it calculates CPU utilization for the processes performance in user space. Basically, Task Manager will now use the standard metrics to display CPU workload consistently across all pages and align with industry standards and third-party tools. Now, let's talk about a few fixes in this build. For example, related to the taskbar, Microsoft fixed an issue where the task view icon in the taskbar might be unexpectedly invisible. If you turned it off and back on in settings, the space was reserved and you could click it to open task view, but nothing showed in the space. They also fixed a rare condition which could lead to the widgets icon not displaying in the taskbar, although it was enabled in settings. No space was reserved and clicking the area did nothing, but that is now fixed. Related to login and lock, Microsoft fixed an issue which was causing the text for lock screen widgets to be unreadable in some cases because it was white on a light background, and they also did some work to address an underlying issue which could lead to the taskbar being slow to load when unlocking your PC after coming out of sleep. This issue could have led to the password field and other login screen contents not rendering when transitioning from lock screen to login screen after sleep. Related to the file explorer, 
Microsoft Fiction issue where if you try to use the unblock open in properties for a file, it will still show as block when you open properties the next time. Related to the start menu, Microsoft Fiction issue for those with the new start menu where if you use touch to navigate the new start menu, it wasn't working reliably. For example, it didn't support the swipe up gesture. Related to input, Microsoft Fiction issue which was causing the Microsoft Kangi input method to not work properly in the previous build. And they also fixed an issue which was causing phonetic keyboards such as the Hindi phonetic import keyboard and the Marathi phonetic keyboard to not work properly in the previous build. Microsoft also fixed an issue where the Xbox app wouldn't launch when administrator protection was enabled. This may have also impacted other apps too, showing error 0xc000142 or other errors. Microsoft also fixed an issue where under settings, system and then storage and then disks and volumes, there might show a link for BitLocker drive encryption although it wasn't supported in that case, clicking it would result in BitLocker opening and displaying an error. And we also have some other fixes, for example, Microsoft fixed an issue causing insiders to see multiple error pop-ups about unexpected elements when opening the group policy editor. They've announced this fix for quite a while, so I think this is finally fixed because in previous builds, it wasn't actually fixed. They also fixed an underlying issue causing a small number of insiders to experience a bug check with error driver IRQL not less or equal in the latest builds. And they also fixed an underlying issue impacting installers for certain apps on ARM64 devices, which could result in a long stall during the installation process. And finally, related to graphics, Microsoft Fiction issue where external graphics cards connected over a Thunderbolt were unexpectedly not discoverable in some cases. Related to known issues, we don't have any new known issues, so that's great news. And of course, if you want to find out more information about this build, you can check out the article below, the official Microsoft blog post, or Phantom of Earth on Twitter or X.com. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future authors like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.